I'm Deacon Patrick. Welcome to the Lexio Divina in preparation for next Sunday's Mass. We'll read through the Gospel once, straight through. Then we'll read it a second time with questions to help us enter God's Word and to open ourselves to God's Word entering into us. First, take a moment to prepare yourself to receive God's Word. Sit so you are relaxed. Take a deep breath. Let your feet rest flat on the floor. Let your arms settle at your side. Close your eyes. Take another deep breath, breathing in God's grace. As it flows in, feel it going to where the tensions are in your shoulders, neck, your arms, your legs. Hold it. Feel God's grace in your breath. Melt away the tension. And exhale. Feel the tension flowing out and away. So it's gone. Keep breathing slowly and deeply. A reading from the Holy Gospel, according to Matthew. Jesus told his disciples this parable. A man going on a journey called in his servants and entrusted his possessions to them. To one he gave five talents, to another two, to a third one, to each according to his ability. Then he went away. Immediately, the one who received five talents went and traded with them, and made another five. Likewise, the one who received two made another two. But the man who received one went off and dug a hole in the ground and buried his master's money. After a long time, the master of those servants came back and settled accounts with them. The one who had received five talents came forward bringing the additional five. He said, Master, you gave me five talents. See, I have made five more. His master said to him, Well done, my good and faithful servant. Since you were faithful in small matters, I will give you great responsibilities. Come, share your master's joy. Then the one who had received two talents also came forward and said, Master, you gave me two talents. See, I have made two more. His master said to him, Well done, my good and faithful servant. Since you were faithful in small matters, I will give you great responsibilities. Come, share your master's joy. Then the one who had received the one talent came forward and said, Master, I knew you were a demanding person, harvesting where you did not plant and gathering where you did not scatter. So out of fear... I went off and buried your talent in the ground. Here it is back. His master said to him in reply, You wicked, lazy servant! So you knew I harvested where I do not plant, and gathered where I did not scatter? Should you not then have put my money in the bank, so that I could have got it back with interest on my return? Now then, take the talent from him and give it to the one with ten. For to everyone who has, more will be given, and he will grow rich. But from the one who has not, even what he has will be taken away. And throw this useless servant into the darkness outside, where there will be wailing and grinding of teeth. The Gospel of the Lord. Now we'll read the Gospel a second time asking questions as we go to help us enter into the God's Word. Jesus told his disciples this parable. That sentence right there, picture yourself sitting around with Jesus at a casual gathering where Jesus is simply teaching based on the things they've experienced that day, that week, traveling from town to town. 
and we hear Jesus say, A man going on a journey called in his servants and entrusted his possessions to them. To one he gave five talents, to another two, to a third one, to each according to his ability. Then he went away. Immediately the one who received five talents went and traded with them, and made another five. Imagine receiving from God an amazing gift of trust. And indeed we have everything that's around us. What's our response to receiving five talents? The five talents we have right now. Likewise, the one who received two made another two. But the man who received one went off and dug a hole in the ground and buried his master's money. After a long time, the master of those servants came back and settled accounts with them. Picture, as we read each of these three, how it is that you're feeling as you hand in the money and talk with the master. The one who had five talents came forward bringing the additional five. He said, Master, you gave me five talents. See, I have five more. His master said to him, Well done, my good and faithful servant. Since you are faithful in small matters, I will give you great responsibilities. Come, share your master's joy. Then the two who had received, then the one who had received two talents also came forward and said, Master, you gave me two talents. See, I have made two more. His master said to him, Well done, my good and faithful servant. Since you were faithful in small matters, I will give you great responsibilities. Come, share your master's joy. Imagine being one of the first two servants. What does it take to receive a gift of trust and in so many ways risk it? The one who had received one talent came forward and said, Master, I knew you were a demanding person, harvesting where you did not plant and gathering where you did not scatter. So out of fear I went off and buried your talent in the ground. Did the first two not experience fear? Here it is back, explained the servant. His master said to him in reply, You wicked, lazy servant, so you knew that I harvested where I did not plant and gather where I did not scatter? Should you not then have put my money in the bank so I could have had it back with interest on my return? How does it feel to be this third servant, being chastised by the master? How would you be standing? What would your posture be like? Would you be looking at the master, or would you have your head bowed in shame? Take the talent from him and give it to the one with ten, for to everyone who has more will be given, and he will grow rich. But from the one who has not, even what he has will be taken away. And throw this useless servant into the darkness outside, where there will be wailing and grinding of teeth. The Gospel of the Lord. Have a blessed week. May this experience with the gospel build and nurture you as you go through the week. May Almighty God bless us, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.